Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today we're going to be talking about two of my favourite things, dolls obviously, and pop stars. <laughs> so for the longest time, when a pop star reaches a certain height in their fame, it's inevitable that a doll is going to be made of them and marketed towards kids. <laughs> These dolls normally have varying degrees of success. I think some of the more famous ones are ones like the Spice Girl dolls or the Britney Spears dolls, stuff like that have done really well. Other dolls have kind of fallen by the wayside. This trend in making fashion dolls about pop stars really kind of took off in the 90s and then it had a bit of a resurgence in the late noughties when they started making like One Direction dolls and stuff like that. So I have made a list of 30, yes, 30 pop star dolls and I'm going to go through them all and we're going to have a little chat about them I'm going to give some of my opinions as I go through the list I'm sure there's going to be loads of different dolls on here that you recognize that you maybe even had but I'm hoping there'll also be some that you're like what they made it they made a doll of her they made a doll of him because some of these dolls are a strange idea like it was a weird idea to make a doll of this pop star but they did it and now we're here to talk about it Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we have The King. Um, this is Elvis. This doll, I don't know what company it was made by, but it's actually a really nice doll, and I think it does him justice, definitely. Um, there have been quite a few different dolls of Elvis made over the years. I know that Barbie Mattel also made an uh, Elvis doll at one point. Okay, this is a really, really old doll. This is Dolly Parton. Yeah, she's really cute. I love Dolly Parton. I, I wish I had this doll. Okay, these are a couple different Cher dolls. Obviously, we have the two at the bottom, that are made by Mattel and they're really nice like they look like lovely dolls and then the ones on the top are from the 60s or 70s I would say um, and they're Sunny and Cher dolls from when they used to perform together and they look really cute but the bottom two definitely are a lot better quality I would say okay now we have Michael Jackson these are two different dolls made by Michael Jackson obviously you can tell by the skin tone which one is more recent and which one is older the one where he's got the white top on um, he can sing that doll can actually sing but I have to say, I think I prefer the one where he's in his like red thriller costume and he even has like a glittery glove. Love that. Okay, next we have MC Hammer. Um, an odd choice for a fashion doll, I have to say. But I quite like his outfit in a way and, and he comes with a real cassette. Okay, so the next one is Vanilla Ice. Again, a very odd choice for a fashion doll. But he was very popular in the 90s, so there you go. Do I look like him? And it says it comes with a postcard and fan club info inside. And it even says down the side of the box, Ice Ice Baby. Love that. Okay, now the very popular ding, Spice Girls. I have many, many Spice Girls dolls. And these dolls were very popular in the early 90s. And then as people started to lose interest in the Spice Girls in the early noughties, I remember there being loads of these dolls on clearance in Woolworths for years. But now I have loads of them and I love them. And if you want to see a Spice Girls doll collection video, I will make that. But make sure you let me know in the comments. But yeah, there were loads and loads of different Spice Girls dolls. And like I said earlier, the Spice Girls really started off a new trend in pop stars becoming dolls. Okay, next, ding! Another pop star that I have a lot of dolls of. This is Britney Spears. And again, these dolls were quite popular and I remember them making quite a lot of them. This is obviously her in her baby one more time outfit. And Britney Spears quite famously thought these dolls were really ugly. I think she even said something like, they look like um, a pug dog who has eaten a bee. So yeah, she wasn't very happy with these dolls, but I still love them. Yeah, and if you look at the face, it's not an exact likeness. And now we have Christina Aguilera dolls. I kind of feel like this was just Christina trying to copy whatever Britney Spears was doing. Those two had a bit of a rivalry in the early noughties, so I'm not surprised that these dolls exist. These ones here in the picture can actually all sing as well, which is quite cool when you click a little button on their bellies. I don't think their faces look that much like Christina, but they do the trick. Here's another strange one. This is Mandy Moore. She was also very popular in the 90s, but never, never as popular as Christina or Britney. I'm sure a lot of my younger viewers won't even know who Mandy Moore is, but for a point of reference, she is actually the voice of Rapunzel. So this is what the voice of Rapunzel was doing in the 90s. She was being a pop star and a doll. Okay. Now this one has to be the strangest on the list. This is a doll of Snoop Dogg. Yeah, so if your child is into dolls and Barbie, you know, wants to go to a rap concert or something, maybe you buy your child the Snoop Dogg doll. 
But, you know, they did quite a good job with this doll. His face definitely looks like Snoop, so... There you go. Okay, now, these guys were definitely more popular in the UK, so um, my American viewers may not know who they are, but this is S Club 7. There were seven members of this band, which is quite a lot of members, so obviously a lot of opportunity to make loads of different dolls, loads of different merchandise. Everyone in my class had their favourite S Club 7 member when we were kids. But I don't actually ever remember seeing these dolls in Woolworths or anything, but they're cute. Again, their faces don't look that much like who they're meant to be but they do the trick. Okay, now I definitely want one of these dolls. This is Shakira, living her whenever, wherever fantasy. She's really cute, this doll. I have to say, she kind of just looks like a normal Barbie. That's one thing I would say, but still, the box is cool, the doll is cool, the quality is great. She's got a little microphone. I want one of these dolls. I love Shakira. Okay, now we have dolls of Kylie Minogue. I'm surprised Kylie Minogue dolls didn't kind of take off a little bit more, because Kylie Minogue was really, really popular in the 90s and in the noughties, and she's still popular now. I'm surprised that these dolls weren't more successful. But then again, I look at their faces, and maybe that might be why. These faces are terrible. Terrible. They look nothing like Kylie Minogue. I actually have one of these dolls. I have the one in the red box, and it looks nothing like Kylie Minogue for some reason. Okay, I'm sure lots of you aren't even aware that these dolls exist. I had no idea that these dolls exist, but here is a doll of Taylor Swift. And these dolls actually sing, which is quite cool. Um, again, the face doesn't really look like Taylor, but these dolls are quite cute. This was back when she was a lot more wholesome, you know, country girl with her guitar, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now I wasn't sure whether to include this doll on the list, because this is more of like a Disney Channel doll than a pop star doll, but here is Hannah Montana. I used to love Hannah Montana when I was a kid. There used to actually be a Hannah Montana poster up behind me, but I took it down recently. But yeah, Hannah Montana was great. I have loads loads of Hannah Montana dolls. Okay, now these are dolls of Girls Aloud, another British pop group. These dolls were actually part of the Barbie Fashion Fever line, so they don't really look that much like the Girls Aloud members. They haven't really tried. They're kind of more like Barbie dressed as Girls Aloud or styled by Girls Aloud, but I think you're still kind of meant to pick them up and play with them as if they were the Girls Aloud members. These dolls are cute. I kind of want to get the Cheryl Cole one because I used to be a bit of a Cheryl Cole fan. The whole Fashion Fever line in general was great. Fashion Fever is kind of like the noughties version of Barbie fashionistas. These are Justin Bieber dolls, yeah! I mean, I'm sure a lot of you remember Justin Bieber used to be big, like big, like you could not escape him. He had his movie, loads of merchandise, dolls obviously. I think this doll is cute in a way. It doesn't look that much like him and he's got kind of like the muscular Ken body, which Justin Bieber at the time didn't have. He was quite skinny. But this doll has the Justin Bieber sweepy haircut, and that was like his signature thing at the time, so it works. Okay, these dolls were very, very popular at the time. These are One Direction dolls. Again, these dolls are kind of weird looking. If you get up close, their faces don't really look quite right. And funnily enough, a lot of these pop star dolls, they actually used computers and stuff to scan the pop star's face into a computer and then make a 3D mold of it to use on the dolls. But those ones are often the ones that look the weirdest. So maybe they should just design the doll face separately, even if it doesn't look that much like the person. Like, there's just some kind of weird, uncanny valley area where these dolls just don't work. But, again, they were very popular, so people still bought them. Okay, the international viewers on my channel will almost definitely not know who these guys are, but these are Union J dolls. Union J were another product of the X Factor, and they were kind of trying to ride the coattails of One Direction's success, so obviously, um, like One Direction, they decided to make dolls. And I don't think these dolls were very successful, but yeah, they exist. Okay, here's another product of the X Factor trying to have a doll line. This is JLS. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all these pop star dolls were made by the same company. Again, the faces aren't quite right, but here they are, they exist. Okay, these dolls, I actually used to have three of, but then I sold them because it annoyed me that I didn't have the fourth. These are Little Mix. And these, the Little Mix girls as dolls makes a lot more sense to me because they've got long hair, they wear bright colourful clothing, it made a lot more sense. 
I think if these dolls had come out now, they'd be much more successful because Little Mix are much more successful. These dolls came out right at the very beginning of the, their career while they were still trying to like get it going and I don't think they were very successful. They never made any more dolls than just these four. But they're cute, they look like who they're meant to be and they're not completely ugly like a lot of the dolls on this list. So yeah, I thought they were kind of, you know, quite good dolls, I quite like them. And I wish they'd make more Little Mix dolls, you know. Okay, and now we have Fifth Harmony dolls. Kind of similar to the Girls Aloud dolls, these are more like Barbie dressed as Fifth Harmony instead of like actual Fifth Harmony dolls. But, you know, they're cute. I actually think their clothes are quite cool and they seem quite nice quality, so yeah, I think these dolls are good. Okay, another strange idea for a doll line, but here are Gwen Stefani dolls. I really like Gwen Stefani, I think she's awesome. And she's tried quite a few times to make doll lines. It's funny, that's like her kind of secret passion is making doll lines. And at the moment she even has her Cuckoo Harajuku dolls going on, which are clearly inspired by her whole persona. But I actually quite like these dolls, they're quite cute. I actually have a couple of them tucked away somewhere, and I do really like them. They kind of remind me of brats, they've got like big oversized heads, um, and they have feet that pop on and off. The only thing that really annoys me about these dolls is I have one with her hair tied up, and when you take her hair down she's like bald underneath. So cheap, why would they do that? Okay, now I really, really want one of these dolls. These are JLo dolls, they're made by Barbie, they're part of the Barbie collector line, and they're just really nice quality. I love them, I love JLo so much, I think she's so cool. The only thing I will say with these dolls, I kind of wish they made a different body sculpt for JLo, because, you know, obviously she's got like, her big hips, She's much more curvaceous, and these dolls are just like really, really, really skinny. But, you know, these dolls are still gorgeous. Okay, this is Brandy, another mid-90s pop star, which I'm sure a lot of my younger viewers are not going to recognize. This doll was made by Mattel, and I actually think they did a really good job with this doll. Her face looks like Brandy, and um, the clothes are really nice quality. Okay, here is a Hilary Duff doll. Love Hilary Duff, she's such a babe. This doll was made by Barbie, but Hilary Duff has actually had quite a few different dolls over the years. I think they did quite a good job with this one. Okay, now we have Cody Simpson. He was kind of like trying to ride the coattails of Justin Bieber's success, and this is why he has a doll probably. But his career was very short-lived in my memory. Um, I'm not sure if he's still making music or not, but yeah. Cody, Cody Simpson. Okay, and now we have Ashley Tisdale dolls. Ashley Tisdale obviously also had dolls made for High School Musical. I have loads and loads of Ashley Tisdale dolls for High School Musical. And I think the High School Musical dolls are much better quality than this one. This one looks really odd. She looks a bit cross-eyed. I think this doll is made by the same company that made the Gwen Stefani dolls because it's got a kind of similar shape. But yeah, these dolls were made for Ashley Tisdale on her own, like away from High School Musical but the High School Musical ones were definitely better. Okay, and last but not least on this list, oh my goodness, I feel like I've been sat here forever, we have Destiny's Child dolls. I love Destiny's Child, I love Beyonce. On the top, we have dolls that were made by Hasbro. I have one of them here. Ding! And on the bottom, we have dolls that are made by Mattel. I actually think, sorry Hasbro, that the Mattel ones are nicer quality, and they look a lot more like the people they're meant to be. This one does not really look like Beyonce, but yeah, they're still really nice dolls. Okay, doll fans, so that was my full list of pop star dolls. Please let me know in the comments if there's any I missed out. Please let me know if there's any pop stars that you wish they would make dolls of. I kind of really wish that they would make dolls of Ariana Grande. I just think she'd make such a great doll. But yeah, do let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or feelings about pop star dolls. Also, let me know if you actually own any of the dolls I showed in my list. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, at Beauty Inside a Box. And I will see you very soon, doll fans. <laughs> Bye!